Um, I think I prefer physical processes rather than digital processes. When I work in the dark room, like uh, doing these prints, uh, like a group of prints from one negative, it's like kind of repeated processes. So for me, it's like kind of uh, getting lost and f to find a way uh, trying to return and there's always something unpredictable and unexpected so for me it's like a way to understand myself. So my work has like a lot to do with worlding and like create um, and space creation um, and so for like the past few years I've been doing bits and bobs and I kind of realized that's what fitted all the works together in a way. Um, this like sense of queer world building and different like non-linear planes and that sort of thing and bright colors that are super saturate and these strange sounds. And I wanted all of this to be able to come together into a piece where you go in and you feel super immersed into that space and into that world. And I think probably the pandemic did have stuff to do with that as well. I mean, I've always been interested in the idea of like space creating and how can you create queer spaces and that sort of thing. But I think because in the pandemic we've been so trapped in similar spaces and that sort of thing, um, it's been really interesting and energizing to get to like create something that feels transportative and that kind of fabulative realm um, that's, yeah, super outside of, I guess, everyday reality as well. So my practice itself is based around uh, the topic of oppression uh, in Iran. Um, I'm a British Iranian immigrant, first generation um, immigrant, and I basically, the whole point of my practice is to aestheticise oppression, to make the topic of oppression a more appealing conversational topic to enter and be involved into. Um, I feel this almost overwhelming responsibility as a British Iranian. Someone that's like in, in the setting of England, I'm, I'm not censored, I'm, I'm, I'm free, I can say whatever I want. This artwork is about my country um, and their implementation of the, the lash or the whip uh, as punishment by law. So this document here um, expresses or presents all of the laws that you get lashed for uh, in Iran. It's a direct copy um, taken from the official one. There's even a, saw, uh, a QR code where you can find the source and go through it yourself. Um, but yeah, um, and then this is the whip, which is motorized, and you, you watch it whipping. It's mirrored because the mirror acts as a sort of um, a center for self reflection, let's call it. Uh, with this piece, it, it was created on um, satin uh, photographic paper, and um, this is just a typical winter blossom and some um, and basically I used oils uh, chemicals just household comic chemicals and um, you know every now and then I'd go back and spray it but the first time I sprayed this was eight weeks into it and most of the the, the formations here that you see are all chemicals from the insects that made their way in and obviously they turn into their their habitat or whatever, but it, you know, it was, it was like, it wasn't really intentional. I didn't really know what was going to come out or the outcome or anything. I was just, you know, it was just work for me. And because uh, I didn't really have knowledge in lumens, I didn't really know what, you know, what, come, what outcome they give. But this just blew me away <laughs> with all the pink hues and the intricate detail of, even like the petals, they're tiny, but you can see a lot of detail in them. And then there's a dead butterfly and there's loads of insects here with seeds and oils and all sorts. 